Did you know that you can schedule your Instagram post? I'm Subi Zimmerman and today I'm going to share with you a couple of different tools that you can use to save time and schedule your post. Publishing consistent, compelling content to Instagram can be a challenge. You can't always pause and post or post at the best time of day. I'm excited to share with you two of my favorite posting tools that will help take the overwhelm away. The first one is Hootsuite, and the second one is Later Media. First, I'm gonna help you navigate the desktop features, and then I'm gonna take you into the mobile app features of each of them. Hootsuite is a powerful tool that helps you organize all your social platforms. You are now looking at my Hootsuite dashboard. Once you've authorized Hootsuite to access your Instagram account, you will be able to pick streams that you'd like to add. Simply click on Add Stream, and once you do, you want to scroll down to Instagram so that you add the streams to the right social profile. And as you can see, there's four tabs across the top. Right now we're in stream. So I've already clicked on all these. I clicked on my posts, my followers, my following, my liked photos, and my scheduled posts. So there's a stream for all of those. Now what you're looking at now is one of my scheduled posts. So we can click into that so you can see it. Here is the description of what I wrote. On the bottom right, there's three little dots. You can delete it if you decided you don't want to post it anymore. And then on the bottom left, you can edit the post. And you can make an edit as long as it's within five minutes from the time that you're planning on posting this. Now, I am planning on posting this on Labor Day, which is a holiday, so that I am not on Instagram that day. I'm scheduling it at 9 a.m. and it's ready to go and it's all done right here. So I'm going to click out and now I'm going to show you guys how to create your post. To schedule a post, all you do is hover over Compose Message and click on Attach Media. You can drag your image or you can upload it by clicking right here. So I'm going to grab an image that I have, open it up, and I've already created what I want to say in my notes. I copied it and I'm going to paste it right here. You can put emojis, hashtags, and at mentions right in your description. May Design, I'm clicking on that, and I want it to be Instagram, not Twitter. So May Design has the same account on both Instagram and Twitter, and that's why that popped up on Twitter. So I'm going to schedule it by clicking on the calendar, and I'm going to have this go live on my birthday, September 6th, because I just love color. <laughs> And all these Instagram, all these Instagram um, images here. So I have it on the sixth, and I'm going to schedule it for 9 a.m. EST. I know that's a good time for me to be posting, and I'm going to click on AM. And there you have it. It's now scheduled. Oh, I need to make sure that you select on your social network that you want to post it from. So on the left, I'm clicking on Instagram. It could have. Uh, I, or I could have clicked on Twitter because I have that link, but make sure that you click on your network and then click on schedule and there you have it. It's a success. A notification is going to be sent to me on my device when I need to push that to Instagram. You want to make sure that you have the latest version of the Hootsuite app on your mobile device. When you go into your app, click on the bottom gear and go into notifications and make sure that you have your notifications push notifications turned on for all the accounts that you manage. This is an image created by Hootsuite showing you the process of what occurs once you've created a post that's scheduled in the dashboard. You're gonna get a notification on your phone on the far left and then all you're gonna to need to do is tap on that and open up Instagram because Instagram requires you to publish the post through the Instagram app on your mobile device. And to pu publish the post, all you have to do is tap on the push notification, it takes you to the post that's already been published in Hootsuite, and you can open it in Instagram, and it automatically copies the caption, and you're just gonna double tap it to paste it and share it. Now just make sure that you are logged in to the right Instagram account, especially if you manage multiple accounts. So here we are back to the mobile, and as you can see, the columns that I created on the dashboard are here. The one that I like to pay the most attention to is the hashtag Instagram for Business. 
I like to see the content that other people are posting using this hashtag. Again, pay attention to the hashtags where your ideal customers and clients hang out and see what kind of content is being created and see how you can set yourself apart from everyone who's doing what you're doing. Now you're looking at my later dashboard. Full disclosure though, I typically post in real time on Instagram. I have the time to do that and it's part of what I love doing in my business. But when I go on vacation or when I'm traveling, absolutely scheduling in a dashboard like Hootsuite or later makes so much sense. I'm really digging the interface here. So as you can see, I have one post scheduled and I just uploaded an image that I want to drag and drop into the calendar. So it says unused image and I can click on this and drag it where I want it to go. So I'm going to put this on Wednesday, September 7th at 9 a.m. And it automatically opens up and I copied in notes and I'm going to paste my caption. So I'm saying I love using later media to schedule posts when it's a holiday weekend or when I'm on vacation. I also love using at Pixar to create colorful images like this. Hashtag Instagram expert. On the bottom, you can see the clock where you can schedule change that time. Super easy to do. And now I'm just going to click save. Now to add a new image, all you do, you can go to your Dropbox folder, Google Drive, or you can upload media right from your desktop. I am going to grab a photo that I have for you. Let's see. Instagram is my jam every day. Alrighty, so this one is a little um, off season. I would say I want to post this in October because it looks like it's fall. So as that image is loading, there it is. I am going to scroll over. I'm going to click on month and I'm going to go to October because I want to have this be in October on the 10th when I'm actually going to be flying to Entrepalooza to California. I know I'm going to be on an airplane then. Alrighty, I just copied my caption from notes. I'm going to paste it right here and you can see the at mentions and the hashtag. I've scheduled it on the 10th when I'm going to be at Entreport's Entrepalooza with my favorite girl boss, Sophia Amaruzo. So excited. And now I'm going to save this. And it slowly spins as it's uploading in the calendar. And then the post is right there. One of my favorite features of the dashboard is the preview tab where you can actually preview all of your previous posts. So you know that when you're going to be uploading your image, how it falls aesthetically in your theme. So since I've scheduled these posts out into the future, most likely there's going to be a lot of posts between now and then, but I'm doing it in the color um, theme that I have of the Instagram logo. So this is a great feature, the grid feature that I think is awesome that you should spend some time in. Also click into the tab where you can view the week and the month of your post and add accordingly. Now you're looking at the later app and as you can see I have two posts that are ready to go but if I want to access my media where I've uploaded photos, I can do, upload more photos by pressing on the plus sign on the bottom right. Or I can use one of these photos and create a post. And I'm going to say, today's my birthday, exclamation mark. Tell me one thing that you have learned from me this year. Smiley face. Next. And now I can schedule a post right on my birthday, September 6th. And let's have this go live at 9 a.m. Setting the time. Going to press next. And the post has been created and ready to go. So let's look now at the schedule post. And it should be right there. So you can use the mobile app to also create posts to schedule. And you can go in there and edit them at any time. What you need to remember is when the post time comes you are going to get a push notification on your phone and that's when you push it to Instagram just like you did with Hootsuite. You can change the caption, you can add the hashtags and then it's ready to go. Now that I've shown you how you can schedule your post, I want to remind you that often the best content to post on Instagram is in real time. So do your best to get ahead but know and remember that to share what's happening in the moment can often be more compelling.
Let me know in the comments below if you knew about these scheduling tools. And be sure to grab my Instagram strategy guide. This is where I help you get started with tips, tools, and Instagram strategies. And I'll see you on Instagram.